All right, guys, for today's video, uh, I'm going to show you how to pair a PlayStation 4 remote control to the uh, Mac computer. All right, what I'm using is a 27-inch uh, iMac, but as long as you're using any type of uh, Mac computer, it should be fine. For this Mac, I'm using, uh, for the operating system, I'm using the latest Mac OS Sierra. So technically speaking, anything from Mac OS Sierra prior to that should work this way. And again, the PS4 controller is using Bluetooth, so it's going to pair with this Bluetooth and any type of uh, Mac OS that you're using. Prior to Sierra, it should work the same way. All right, so what you need to do first is you got to put your PlayStation 4 controller in Discover mode. And you do that by pressing the Share, the Share button, and the PlayStation button together at the same time. When you do that, the light up here will flicker. That's how you know it's in discover mode. Pressing both together. There you go, it's flickering. So now on my computer, I wanna to go to the Bluetooth at the very top right, and I'm gonna open up Bluetooth preferences. Now because I've already had this paired, it's gonna show right here as wireless controller. Um, if this is your first time doing it, it's going to pop up under here as a new device, but same principle, you just pair it up. So for mine, I'm going to double click it. There you go, now it's connected. So I did, a, I did another video for this emulator called OpenEMU, which is down here. Um, a great program for running emulators. And we're going to do this full screen. So if you were to download this emulator or any other games in general, um, we're going to talk about this one for, uh, first, is uh, y you would go to controls, um, I think, oh yeah, sorry, preferences, controls, and then from here, see where it says input, you would change that to the PS4 DualShock 4 wireless, and it recognizes that, all right, and then from here you can kind of customize it. Now, it defaults to up, down, left, right, obviously. But if you have any other complex games where you need to uh, change the analog sticks, you can do that as well. And any of the uh, you know standard uh, triangle, circle, square, uh, square, and X, L1, L2, for depending on what game you're trying to play. So, uh, for an just to kind of show you as a demo, I'm gonna go ahead and run a Mario. All right, so I'm gonna type in Mario here, and let's play this one. So you double click it. So as you can see here, let me see, okay, I'm Mario. So here we go. And I'm gonna hit X. And as you can see, it plays the same way. So there you go. And in my case, square is the one that you hold to run faster and to hold the shells. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, my bad. See? So pretty good, pretty useful. And it's pretty, there's, there's no delay at it. There's no delay at all. And I'm speaking for this program, but I'm sure it's the same way. I mean, it's communicating via Bluetooth, so there shouldn't be no delay. Uh, yeah, I'm not that great of, <laughs> I'm not that great of a gamer. And there you go. As you can see, I'm not that great of a gamer. Anyway, that's how you pair a PS4 controller to an iMac and use it towards a program like such, OpenMU. Again, I showed a different video of OpenMU if you wanna watch that, thanks for watching. Hello YouTube and thanks for watching. For more exciting videos on all things gaming and technology, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and thank you for your support.